Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the green precipitation of ferric hydroxide. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is ferrous sulfate, sodium hydroxide, two graduated cylinders with 100 milliliters of distilled water, my stir spoon, and a dropper. Begin by creating an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide by adding four grams to 100 milliliters of distilled water. Stir the solution until all your sodium hydroxide is completely dissolved. Next, create an aqueous solution of iron sulfate by adding four grams to 100 milliliters of distilled water and stir it until your solution is aqueous. Okay, now we're ready for the reaction. This is a double displacement reaction. And as we add that ferrous sulfate to the sodium hydroxide, you'll see the precipitation of ferric hydroxide. Here we go. Look at that. That insoluble green precipitate of iron hydroxide. Okay, now we'll add a little more. Look at that iron hydroxide precipitate. This is after just two minutes. You can see how much the solution has changed. Very dramatic precipitation reaction. Just look at that. Amazing. The precipitate iron hydroxide has many uses. It's used in cosmetics. It's used as a pigment for tattoo ink. It's used in water treatment plants. It's even used to make bricks. It's also used to treat anemia in humans. So let's take a look at the chemical equation for this reaction. We start out with our reactants, iron sulfate, that's the FeSO4 in an aqueous solution, and two molecules of sodium hydroxide, that's the NaOH, also in an aqueous solution. When we combine those reactants, we create a double displacement precipitation reaction where you have sodium sulfate, that's the Na2SO4, that's aqueous, but then you have the precipitate, the insoluble solid, solid iron hydroxide, that's the FeOH2. That was the green insoluble solid that you saw precipitate out of the solution. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.